Hey guys and girls, we are here at the Serangoon area, right next to Little India, where Studi Road North is. I'm dying for some Italian cuisine, authentic ones, so here I am at Bruno's Pizzeria. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Elvin Mart and I make art on location. There, there are three outlets. They have one at Tanjong Katong, one at Teluk Kurau, and this one here is obviously at Serangoon. So real quick, there's the co-owner there uh, trying to create a space so that they can grow their own produce. Talk about zero carbon footprint. I love that concept. They're, all they have to do if they need any herbs is to just walk out to the little garden area to uh, get what they need. So they have rosemary here, they have uh, yeah, some chili, they have basil. Let's go in. I, I've been given access to the kitchen, so let's go in there and have a sketch. Wow, look at that. Uh, yeah. And mustard, beef ragu, tenderloin, uh, ram rang. The order will pick up at uh, 6 .50. Wow. And, uh, whole roaster. Okay. That looks like a lot of food. How long do you think you'll take to prepare uh, that? Uh, half an hour. Half an hour, okay, let's do it guys. Just perfect timing for a sketch. So let's get set up. <laughs> oh and guys, before we do set up, let's take a peek at what the restaurant looks like. all cozy right now because they're preparing for the evening crowd and uh, obviously the blinds are being drawn but see it's still it's evening time late afternoon some of you may know that I spent some time living in Italy and the decor in here reminds me of my stay in Florence I used to spend a lot of time sketching in cafes and restaurants in fact, I remember doing a project for a restaurant to create their menus. So part of the deal was to dine and enjoy the food that they make while sketching. Not too bad a gig. If you enjoy the art and content that I put out, do remember to subscribe to the channel, especially if you are new. Alright, it is time to head to the kitchen for the sketch. Let's go back to the kitchen and make a sketch of that. I love a really good pizza. The ones that they make here are hand stretched and are only made once an order is confirmed. This ensures the freshness of the pizzas. My Italian housemates were appalled when they first saw me portioning out my meals for the week and packing them into the freezer. It is part of their culture to cook the meal only when you are ready to eat and it was something I had to relearn during my time in Italy. 
I order a pizza napolitana. Are you all ready for the sketch? This is the angle that I've chosen, so here we go. Now, how about that? Did it inspire you to want to sketch in a kitchen, in a cafe, or maybe even at home? So what is that Mustafa shopping cart doing there by the way? Hmm. We are back in the dining area of Bruno's and I have chosen a window seat because I'm getting more daylight on my food. The dining area has this cozy, dimly lit Feel. But since I'm sketching, it really helps to brighten up my sketch when the subject is all lit up. It is that time of the episode where I get to chow down my dinner. So tell me what kind of Italian food do you like? And if you sketch, what kind of Italian food have you sketched before? Share your thoughts in the comment section down below. Chef Wan and I need prepared a puttanesca for me. I've never had this before. Very southern Italian, Napoli to be precise. The ingredients include anchovies, capers, and olives. Thanks for tuning in to this episode. Remember that by subscribing and commenting, you're telling the YouTube algorithms that this is good content worth sharing. Stay safe, stay healthy, until the next one. This is so appropriate, but it finally makes sense for me to end this episode with a ciao ciao.